This is just part one of a three part vlog on Istanbul. I stayed here at the Sultan Ahmed Palace Hotel and as the brochure says, experience the comfort of a real palace in antique Istanbul. It's just away from the bustle of the city and it is set in a peaceful and relaxing atmosphere both with its Byzantine period decoration style and its outer silhouette inspired from the remarkable Ottoman architecture. Long passageways with marble columns, tiled floors and antique mirrors together with many statues are a feature of this 45 room hotel. Its location could not be better, right in the centre of the old town, with magnificent views from the front door and my room balcony of the Blue Mosque. The garden areas with its water feature, walkway and statues are authentic and relaxing. The court bra sometimes interrupted in the distance by the sound of car horns reminds you that you are not too far from the hustle of our current period in time. The gardens are mature and well kept. After a long day walking around being a typical tourist, this is a welcome sight on your return. Even in September, daytime temperatures are high and a little shade and tranquility is so rare to find. At the rear of the hotel is Sultan's restaurant, uh, which is also the place to have your breakfast. Here you can dine inside or out with magnificent views of the Marmara Sea, Prince's Islands and finally the Bosphorus shores. I believe the capacity is for approximately 80 persons uh, and the food absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Lovely breakfast, spent a long time sitting in this room uh, and just admiring the views. My room balcony was also somewhere I spent a lot of time. Just absorbing the views of both the Blue Mosque in one direction and the Bosphorus in the opposite direction. Daytime temperatures were high so it was a real pleasure to sit out in the comparative coolness of the evening, watch the various sunsets and the Blue Mosque illuminated. In the opposite direction, on the same balcony, I could sit watching the traffic along the Bosphorus. Ranges from pleasure craft, ocean going vessels and numerous ferries. It unites the Black Sea and the Sea of Marmara 
and separating parts of Asian Turkey from European Turkey. It is also heavily fished since the 19 mile long channel is a seasonal migration route. Tranquil and spiritual are the two words that come into mind. Not far from my hotel balcony are other high vantage points to admire the Bosphorus and its bridges connecting Asia and Europe. Within a five minute walk from the hotel is the Sultan Ahmed Square and Gardens. This is what the majority of tourists come to see. On the one side is the Hagia Sophia Museum and Church, one time Greek Orthodox Basilica and one time Imperial Mosque and an architectural marvel. On the other side the Blue Mosque, uh, this dates from around the early 1600s uh, and is also known as the Sultan Ahmet Mosque. Uh, the reason it's called the Blue Mosque is it's because of the number of blue tiles um, adorning the walls. Here you can sit in the gardens, watch the many, many people, it's really, really busy. Um, and the fountains perform regularly at various times of the day uh, and provide both opportunities for the many tourists. Across the tram lines and on one corner of the square is the Basilica Cistern. Um, unfortunately, on the day I got there, it was closed, um, so I didn't get the opportunity to look around. I did, however, find uh, this little cafe just around the corner. Um, absolutely fascinating. I stood there for ages and ages uh, just watching this. The Mezzale Cafe and Restaurant is virtually opposite my hotel and quite an experience, um, an unusual experience for me. It looks more like an old movie set, um, cultural music, a whirling dervish in the background, uh, whilst most of the customers are uh, smoking the bubble bubble pipes. Um, not a major problem as the smoke filled air is easily dispersed as it's an open air cafe uh, and a meeting place. It does say it's a cafe, but um, I didn't see many plates of food being served. Walking through the local streets, um, past the carpet shops, uh, on the way to the top Capi Palace. Um, this is just a model, but I did go around the real thing. Uh, some very nice restaurants serving fish starters uh, and the traditional meatball main courses. Um, and an FS. Well today is the last day in Istanbul. Uh, I'm going to miss this place, I've really really enjoyed it. I uh, recommend it to anyone. Um, just waiting for my taxi to arrive, take me back to the airport um, where I've got a short flight to Athens uh, to make a connecting flight, um, just 40 minutes long really, that will take me into Corfu. So, looks like I'm going from FS to Mythos uh, tonight. Um, no doubt you'll see some postings. See, bye for now.